Hey everybody, this is Marcellus Troy Alexander, Inspiration with Troy Alexander. We are so excited tonight. We have a phenomenal guest and we are just so proud of her and all that she has done and what she is doing tonight. But before we introduce the amazing, the amazing Kayla, before we do that, just want to say again, we're on Facebook, Troy Alexander. We're on YouTube, Inspiration with Troy Alexander. And yes, we have our nonprofit, Call to Inspire.org. Call to Inspire.org. So again, we're so excited. Just one point of purpose. And you know what our motto is? Dream, take that step and walk with purpose into your destiny. So tonight, just one point of purpose. And then we're going to introduce, introduce our amazing guest. Uh, the point of purpose I want to share with you is the mountain will not block you. It will only elevate you. I'm telling you right now, y'all, listen. The mountain is destined to elevate you. It's not there to block you from your destiny, but to lift you and to raise you higher and greater to what your purpose is aligned to. So tonight, I'm so excited to introduce you for those who may not know her, but for those who know her, even just to celebrate her even the more. So tonight, listen, she is the founder of Kayla's Nook Read Out Loud program, aims to remove students' lack of competence in their reading ability as a barrier to early literacy. My goodness, Girl Scout Gold Award candidate for Kayla's Nook. Listen, she is the reigning 2022-2024 Next Level Pageant and Mentoring Program <laughs> Ambassador. Wow, I can't wait to talk about that, Kayla. Listen, she is an expiring <laughs> certified public accountant actuarial. I think I might have said it right, but she'll correct me if, if not. <laughs> and also a high school varsity bowler. Welcome, Kayla Mackney. How are you, Kayla? Hello, thank you so much for having me, Tori. I'm so excited to be on tonight. Oh, I am so honored. You are so amazing. You're phenomenal. You're just a wonderful inspiration and I'm so honored to have you on our broadcast tonight. So my first question for you, Kayla, is what inspired you to start Kayla's Nook Read Out Loud program? Growing up, I had a speech impediment and it was hard to hear the words that I was saying wrong. And my teachers and parents really heard those words that I was saying wrong. So through elementary and middle school, I took speech therapy classes and I'm really grateful to have had my speech therapist who was able to help me practice repeating words out loud until I was able to practice and master that target sound. So through Kayla's Nook, I share my experience of having had a speech impediment, and it helps students discover their authentic self in order to reach their fullest reading potential. Wow, Kayla, I love that. I love that. That was so awesome and inspiring. Oh, my goodness. And that was from <laughs> elementary school to, to junior high school? Yes, third grade to eighth grade. Wow. What was it like to... to to be going through those challenges and going to classes. So what was that experience like for you in school? I had my speech therapy classes during the middle of class during elementary and middle school. So even though I was taken out of class during certain days, it was just to help me reinforce that reading skill so that maybe during an English class, I would be able to speak up more and say what I wanted to say with confidence. So even though I was taken out of some classes, it really helped me to reinforce and build that confidence to when I got to the classroom the next day. Wow. Listen, Kayla, I don't know if you know this, but I had a speech impediment also, and I also went through classes in elementary school, in junior high school, more so in elementary. Wow. But yes, yes, I did. And I, it, it was so hard for me to say words I would get nervous and I mm -hmm. stuttered horribly, right? It was just so a difficult moment. Did you have trouble though, like with friends or, or having friends at all or not really? I did have a little bit of nerves during class, especially when it came to public speaking during school. I would always just practice days before of what I really wanted to say so that I could articulate it in class a lot better. But what? my friends, speaking to my friends, it wasn't that hard. I think it was more so speaking with teachers or speaking with parents because they could kind of see 
where I was incorrectly saying a word, whereas friends really couldn't because I was just having a friendly conversation with them. Wow. Wow. Listen, I'm so proud of you. And I love the word you used earlier um, so that the students can learn their authentic self. I love that. I, love, I, I just love your, your, your joy your inspiration, and your confidence. Tell me, wow, let's listen. I love your program, right? Read out loud. And it's, it's, it's Kayla's Nook. Where, where did you come up with the name of your program? I was actually on a call a few months ago, brainstorming names with the Next Level Pageant and Mentoring Program. And we wanted to do a play on word of my name and then what also went with that. So we came up with the Nook and put a K in front of the Nook. So K and Kayla, K and Nook, which also implies a reading corner, which went well together with my workshops. Love that, Kayla. I love that. That is so awesome. I mean, it, it's something how you just added a K, right? To the word. But Kayla, <laughs> I, I love that. That is so wonderful and inspiring. Thank you. And I just think it's in Jean because it's you, right? It's your yeah. program. It's your, what does it feel like when you go in front of these young people and you're talking about your program and how you want to build confidence? What does that even feel like? It feels very rewarding to share my experience and actually successfully overcoming a speech impediment. And throughout the workshops I had, seeing the students build that confidence from day one to day four was a very, very happy thing to see because I could see the students smile a lot and they wanted to bring their own book and actually read that out out loud to the whole group so I was very uh, very happy to see them and they were very excited and they were very grateful to have been a part of the workshops. Wow wow listen I could only imagine um, what that makes a young person feel right to have somebody that had a speech impediment right because sometimes kids get so nervous and I know for me I would get even more nervous like I would I, I would like read the paragraph like in class and try to find out where I'm going to be at because I was so scared to, to, to speak in public especially in class so I can only imagine what this means to them young people um what is it I I can only imagine that it must feel so good when a young person says thank you like I feel better I feel more confident like is that the joy that you get Yes, and actually a part of my first workshop, there was this one girl who is now in second grade and her family is so sweet. I actually started reading out loud with her after school at her house and to see that build, and that boost of confidence and how she was better able to articulate her words from when she first started to when I read out loud with her now is just so amazing. And I hope she feels very excited to be a part of the classroom and articulate her words there, and then also be able to read out loud confidently. Wow. I just want to clap for you the whole show, Kayla. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, you are so awesome. And I love that about you. And so I got to ask you, do you get nervous now at all? Like if you have to public speaking and like, do you ever get nervous or no? I do get a little bit nervous. I think it's different for me when I'm in school and giving a presentation or if it's a part of pageants and giving a pu and giving presentation. But I always like to try new opportunities, especially when it comes to public speaking, even though the nerves might get a little bit in the way. But for wow. all of those opportunities I had in the past, I'm very grateful to have delivered my story and continue to speak out loud and build my reading confidence. Oh, Kayla, listen, we need your program like in every school, right? In every, 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 <laughs> yes, we do. So, so I want to ask you, is there something that you do before you speak? Is there like a routine at all or something you say to yourself or not so much? I think it's just being able to take a deep breath, say what I want to say in my head so that I can articulate it out loud whenever I'm in front of a friend or a teacher or a parent, or if I'm giving that kind of presentation in class or at a pageant. 
Uh, wow, I love that. I love that. And I can only imagine. So you, get, so you have to tell me, how many, how many workshops have you, or how many schools are you in now? So Kayla Suck is actually not a part of any schools yet, but I did have four workshops so far. And I hope to turn my project into a nonprofit and partner with schools in the future. And also continuing my program in college next year, I would love to partner with an elementary school nearby and hold workshops there where students can just practice building their reading confidence. Wow, Kayla, listen, all I know is maybe I must have said school because that's where you're going. <laughs> because I, I am telling you, that is, that is, it is so needed, right? It is so necessary. Yes. And to have someone that had a speech impediment be the one giving the workshop, right? That is amazing because they can talk to you and you can feel what they feel, right? And so yes. that's powerful. That's powerful. So tell me, how long is your workshop? Is it like 30 minutes? Is it an hour or a few minutes? How long is your workshop normally? So with the four walk workshops so far, my first two, which were held over the summer, consisted of four days. So two days in a week, two workshops in a week. And each of those were two hours long because the first two days had consisted of reading out loud and being able to articulate your words a little bit better to be comfortable with the group of students you're with. And then the third and fourth day consisted of drafting a book. And then on the fourth day, I actually gave them their own blank book and they could become the author of their own story, which they really loved. Oh, I love that, Kayla. Listen, you just gave me an idea. So I got to hopefully talk to the person. But yes, I mean, so how many kids are in? How many kids have been in your workshop? Like how many about? I've had a variety from four or five students. And I've also worked with Girl Scout troops a few months ago. And those consisted of 10, 11 students. And wow. the students range from second grade all the way to fifth grade. Wow, 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 wow. Listen, <laughs> I, I'm just, I, I got this idea in my mind, right? And I know someone who is uh, making journals for people, right? And and so I, I, I might, I might invest in, in that and get you a journal that you have your Kayla's Nook journal and, and, and the kids can write their, their stories in the journal. Okay, so just that's, that's awesome. That's amazing. Yes. And actually the books the students did a part of my workshops, the books were a sustainable part of the project. So the students would be able to look back at this book in a few years from now. And actually, when I was in fifth grade, I did a project like this, and I have the book right here. It's called The Shy Girl, and I still look back on it. I like using it whenever I give speeches for pageants. So the story about The Shy Girl is that there was a girl who had competed in pageants like me, and throughout the story, she had built that confidence of wanting to go in front of the stage and conquer her fear of public speaking. Wow. Can you raise it up a little bit higher, the book? Yeah. Wow. A little bit higher. And oh, yes, yes, yes. This was me in fifth grade. <laughs> wow. Okay, I love it. I love it. The shy Thank girl. You. Listen, you got to write another one, The Confident Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I think I'll work on that very soon. That sounds really like a great idea. I, listen, Kayla, I am, I said, I was already in awe of you and already inspired by you. I'm even inspired by you even more. <laughs> so it's just amazing. Wow, I <laughs> love you. that. I love that. So, so, so you want to uh, build a nonprofit as well as go into the schools and partner with like an elementary school, you said? Yes. I love that. Listen, I am sure there is an elementary school that would love, love to have you come and do workshops. So whatever I can do to help you to do that or make that happen, or even with the nonprofit, let me know. And whatever I can do to be a support to you, I am just so proud of you, Kayla. So, Thank you so, so proud much, of you. Trey. And I actually created a web page, and we can talk about this a little bit more later. But with the web page, I posted some pictures 
from the workshops and there's downloadable copies of the reading prompts and writing prompts that I had used for the certain books throughout my workshops. Wow, Kayla, I, I am like, you are just doing all of this amazing <laughs> inspiration of young people. So I gotta ask you, have you gotten, gotten any feedback from parents at all? Have they said anything to you about their child being in the program? Yes, so a part of the workshops on the last day, I hand out a student survey and a parent survey asking if the students like the books or the reader's theater prompts that we read out loud and if they liked creating their own book and their own story. And with the parent surveys, I had the parents filled out, fill out what they saw growth in their child. So if they saw a reading confidence boost or if they saw confidence in them participating in the groups or writing their own story. That was all different based on each student, but the parents really loved everything that we did throughout the workshops. And that actually made me really happy to see that not just the students liked it, but the parents really liked it as well. Wow, Kayla, I, I am in awe of you. You just are just so <laughs> uplifting and that is so wonderful. Have you put some of the quotes on your website from the parents or or I have not youth? put any of the quotes yet. Okay. No. Okay. Well, listen, that would be a true, um, I think a highlight, right? Is it is to share the the testimonials from the that from actually the young people. would be a good idea. Yes. Oh my goodness. Be like, this is from parents, this is what parents are saying about your program. So that would be a wonderful addition, I think, to your website yes. and to all of your platforms. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Thank and listen, you. absolutely. And listen, if you know any parents like really well, like even having them do a video or having a young person do a video to, to, to say how much the program meant to them, like that would be yes. awesome too. <laughs> I love it. Oh my goodness. Well, listen, I am so excited for you and what's coming next. I love this program. Are you, are the parents or are the young people able to contact you at all, like after the program, if they have any questions or anything like that at all, or, or not yes. so much at this time? Oh, yes? Yes. So I actually, as part of the sustainability of my Go to Word project, I created a bookcase with my family and we put it at the Generations Family Success Center of Mount Holly and I stacked it with books at the center and then with books I used throughout my workshops and in the front cover of the books I used throughout my workshops I put a sticker with a link to the my web page where the students and the parents could go on the web page and see which reading prompts they can use, which writing prompts they can download. And then it also has my contact information on there if they'd ever want to reach out for anything. Kayla, you are a superstar. You, 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 have, <laughs> you have everything. Oh my, wow, that is amazing. I love Thank that. Thank you. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Well, we're gonna have to definitely have you back and talk more about your program and where it <laughs> how it's doing and where it's going and how we can just help to support it even more. I love that. So you, you talked about the Girl Scouts earlier in the interview. So help us yeah. understand, because I believe that your project, right, has a Girl Scout Gold Award. Is that right? Yes. Yes. And so the Girl Scout that mean? Gold Award, yeah. it's, a, it's the highest award a Girl Scout can and can achieve by implementing a sustainable 80 hour take action project through her community. So the Girl Scout Gold Award is open to any high school Girl Scout, but successfully completing this project or their project opens many doors because fewer than 6% of Girl Scouts each year earn this award. Wow, 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 Kayla, that's amazing. That is awesome. Well, you are truly deserving because you Thank have you. definitely given light and hope to young people, our generation coming up. And sometimes they just want to know that somebody can feel what they feel and, and will help them and uplift them and encourage them to say, you can get through it. If I can do it, you can do it. And we're going to do it together. So that is awesome. Yes. Kayla. 
I love that. Wow. What what was that moment like when you found out that you were this 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 Girl Scout going to Ward E? Well, next year, since I will be com uh, submitting the final steps of my project throughout December, I'll be receiving the award around May, June. And I think by then I'll be really happy to see this growth I had throughout the first stages of the workshop, which I first had my interview of when I submitted my proposal in June. Oh, listen. I really can't wait for that next year. <laughs> listen, we need everybody to support <laughs> Kayla's look. I'm telling you, this is phenomenal. Do you accept donations? Can people support your program in any way or help in any way? Yes, of course. And with anything, I would love if anyone would like to reach out to my Facebook page, Kayla Genevieve. Wow. Wow. Listen, everybody reach out if you want to support <laughs> in any way, because I'm definitely going to be doing all that I can to support you, Kayla, because you, this is phenomenal. And especially, as I said earlier, like I had a speech impediment as well. It was yes. hard for me to talk and it was just, it was a difficult part of my life. So it, it was challenging, you know, mm -hmm. and, um, but yes, so we've, we're here now, me and you, Kayla, yes. <laughs> we are. We are here trying to inspire the world. So I love that about you. Thank you. I, I appreciate that, that. Absolutely. And so is your award, is that going to be like in Jersey or in someplace else? Or do you know? I believe it is it's for the Girl Scouts of Central and Southern New Jersey. Well, listen, please let me know if it's open to the public and people can come and support you. If I'm available, I would love to be there to cheer you on and to support you, if it's allowed. <laughs> but okay, if not, yeah, I definitely will let you know more details further to the date. Awesome, thank you so much, I'm honored. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, so I have to ask you, you are also the reigning 2022, 2024 Next Level Pageant and Mentoring Program Ambassador. So I wanna say congratulations to you. And I gotta thank ask you. you, absolutely, how does it, how did you become a part of this uh, mentoring program? Next Level came to my mom and I's attention several years ago because we knew a few girls who had competed in the pageant, but it wasn't until 2021 that I competed in the teen category and won that. I was very grateful for that last year. And this past year, I was eligible to compete for the ambassador title. Wow. And what was that like? What was that moment like when you knew that one you had won and now you're an ambassador? Like, what does it even feel like? Yes. Being the ambassador was is very rewarding because I can promote Next Level in their motto of dream, believe, and, and achieve, where if you have your mindset on a goal, you should pursue it to the fullest of your abilities. And this really resonated with me as I'm furthering Kayla's Snook program. Wow, oh, you go, Kayla. Listen, I'm telling you, I am so, I am such a fan of yours. And I'm just, again, so proud of you. Uh, listen, Miss Evelyn McLeod, she is amazing um, yes. in what she does and how she inspires others. And I'm so proud of her and love her as well and her program. It's wonderful. What, do you bring your, your, your crown and sash to your Nook program or no? Yes, I do for photos because Next Level has really helped me with the opportunity to speak out loud with Kayla Snook and build Kayla Snook even further of sharing my platform, early literacy, and sharing that story of having had a speech impediment and just letting younger students know a part of the workshops that it's okay to go through literacy issues. Wow, that's wonderful. So I got to ask you what what has the next level pageant and mentoring program, what, what has that meant to you? Next level and the sister queens have been so rewarding to have because they help me boost myself. And the motto of dream, believe, achieve helps me to take that next step and have that boost of confidence to want to go further. And I definitely had that with the Kayla Snook program where I could have just ended it at the workshops, but now I'm 
creating a web page and I'm turning it into a nonprofit with their help and support. I love that. Listen, all I know is I don't, there is no limit, Kayla, to what you want to do and where this program can go. I mean, it is really limitless. And again, yeah. I'm so proud of you and all that you've done and what you're doing and what you're about to do. So I got to ask you in terms of pageantry, are you looking to continue on in pageantry? Yes, I would love to continue participating in pageants because pageantry has enabled me to become more social and more outgoing. And it's provided me the platform to share my platform of early literacy and my authentic story. Love that. I love that, Kayla. I I, I am just, I don't know, because I, 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 I've said you're amazing. You're phenomenal. <laughs> you're awesome. You're outstanding. You're just <laughs> epic you're just you know whatever whatever I can, you you are just that and more and again just Thank priceless you. and just so so proud of you so listen <laughs> not only that everybody you are an, an aspiring certified public accountant and actuarial I think actuarial that's how you say yes yes tell us what 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 led you down this path Starting my freshman year of high school, I've known that I've had the infinity for mathematics and it's a subject that I just enjoy. And I truly feel that mathematics is the foundation for business. So in 2019, I joined the Mathematical Association of America as a student member and I attended a sectional conference. And sub subsequently, I also attended their National Math Fest which was held virtually in 2021, which further explored the field of math. And with this, it led me to discovering business. And my freshman year of high school also, I joined the Future Business Leaders of America Club. And I'm really grateful to have been a part of this club for the past four years and serve as an officer. And last year, I was the vice president. This year, I'm the community service chairperson. And through these roles, I directed and I wrote a promotional video for our school store. And as a community service chairperson now, I'm able to work with local businesses around our town to speak to our club about how they built their business and where they are today. Kayla, oh my goodness, that is, wow. I, I am like, I'm sitting here in awe. Like, I am like, <laughs> listen, you are... Listen, everybody, if you don't have an accountant yet, you need to hire Kayla. Because <laughs> listen, you, that, is, that, that is amazing. I mean, you. you were the vice president. And now yes, you're last doing- last year. Yeah, yeah, last year. And now you're doing the, um, <laughs> the campaigning and the- <laughs> Yes, as the community service chairperson. Community service chairperson. Listen, that is awesome. <laughs> that is awesome, Kayla. I can't even- begin to say like, how do you find time to do all of this? <laughs> but but I, I'm like, how do you find time to do all of this? I think it's staying organized because I have my planner everywhere I go. And I just map out what I need to do for a certain day. And if I can't complete an assignment, maybe because it's late at night and I'd like to get some rest, I'd wake up earlier the next morning and just complete it then. Or if something I couldn't do this day, I'll definitely complete it over the weekend so that it's done within the new week of Sunday and Monday. Kayla, I want to like, you know, I'm sorry for, for hollering your name. I was just so excited <laughs> about, about you. Uh, so, you know, normally as a host, like I don't holler and like, well, yeah, I do holler, but not like holler out like that. But you are just <laughs> such a, I don't even know what to say, like, Amazing. And so I, I, I love that about you and what you're doing and you're setting your, your path for your next yeah. chapter and your next chapter and your next chapter. And I love that about you. So that is, you are such an inspiration. Oh my goodness. Uh, not only to young people, but to adults as well. So Thank you. I got to ask you, and, and not only that, but you're a bowler, a high school bowler. <laughs> yes. I'm like, so, so tell me about like, like, are you like, have you ever bowled a 300? Please don't say yes. So I have not pulled a 200 yet. My high score last year was a 191. But okay. 
the okay. new bowling season actually started today after school so i'm really excited to see <laughs> where growth i can have there so definitely getting over 200 is on my bucket list for this season well, at listen, least just I to have one game over 200. <laughs> listen i have no doubt kayla that you're going to get over 200 uh <laughs> because whatever you set your mind to uh you work hard at it and you're going to how how many years have you been bowling this is my fourth year. When I was younger, I used to go recreational bowling with my family and grandparents. And this kind of paved the way for me wanting to try out for my house school's bowling team my freshman year. Wow. Well, listen, I am so proud of you. And I am just excited to see what is coming next for you. Do you plan on continuing bowling? Like, like that's what you want to do like in college or not so much? Yes, definitely in college. I would love to do bowling either as a club or a part of a team. And if the college I go to does not have a bowling team, it's definitely starting a bowling club is something I would love to do. Wow, listen, Kayla, I, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about, you know, I, I've seen people, I've been a part of, of uh, fundraisers, bowling mm -hmm. alley fundraisers, and you buy, you know, you pay so much for two games and it gets you two games, but the, but the nonprofit, is, 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 is raising funds. So just mm -hmm. an idea for you to maybe consider doing a bowling fundraiser for Kayla's yeah. note, just a thought. <laughs> I was so, actually speaking about that with Evelyn and we might have something with bowling in Kayla's note because I was speaking with her the other night and I showed her a video of my bowling style and she loved the way I was in my release. So we would love to have something and we're still planning that right now. Well, listen, make, make sure I get an image because I listen, I have to get my bowling ball like out of the attic. <laughs> <laughs> I will I will bring my bowling ball and I'm coming because I because I love bowling too. I don't do it that often, but um but mm -hmm. I have done like over the years with my family and my dad and so forth. But yes, I do have my own bowling ball, but it's it, it's a wonderful game and I love it. So yes, make sure that I get my invite because I'm coming. <laughs> Definitely. So so listen, you didn't put this in your bio, but listen, you are an amazing model. I mean, I I've seen your photos. I've seen I've seen you in person. I've taken your picture, right? We've done so much. you you are an amazing model. So tell me, is, is that something you want to at all do as part of your next chapter, your next journey at all? I think probably sticking with pageantry and the modeling with that and the occasional fun passion shows would be great for me. Awesome. Well, listen, all I know is you are, you have the it factor. There's something about you that is just so amazing and awesome and inspiring. And I love that about you, Kayla. And I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Listen, I didn't even know about your, your being the vice president and the uh, campaign uh, marketing chairperson is that right something like yes community is, service chairperson is is there more that you do is there more more programs or outreach thing that you do that you haven't haven't shared with us thus far so I, i'm right now i'm vice president of my high school's interact club as part of rotary international promoting community service for uh, young students and I also play the flute since fourth grade. And right now I'm in my high school's concert band and each year we have two performances. So with concert band, we meet every other day in school, but I just love getting together with the concert band. We call it a family because we have freshmen all the way to seniors and we all love to help each other with our specific part we play, so the flute, I would love to help a younger student just to see which notes they might be having trouble on. And then just to hear the harmony of when we perform a song together. It just sounds so beautiful. Taylor, I am, I don't, I don't know what to say. You were just, <laughs> wow. I mean, that, you are so multi-talented. Have you ever played the flute as part of any kind of pageant or any kind of program at all? I have not, no. Wow, wow. Well, listen, I love the flute. I love music. I love the instruments. I tried it. I tried violin, didn't work. I tried trumpet, didn't work. I tried trombone, didn't work. So I just said, <laughs> I'm just going to sing 
where I can. <laughs> so I said, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go into the choir and just sing. So I, I, I left it there, Kayla. So Thank I you. want to, <laughs> so I want to <laughs> let everybody know before we ask our, we have just a few more questions for Kayla. But if you have a question for Kayla, you can put it in the Facebook chat. This is our first time that we're ever doing this feature. My goodness, because Kayla asked us a question at the beginning. But if there's anybody that has a question for Kayla, if you put it in the Facebook chat of the broadcast, I will ask Kayla before the show is over. But um, Kayla, I just want to again ask you again, um, if you came across a young person that just couldn't quite see their dreams um, or didn't, didn't quite know how they were going to reach them, um, what would you tell them to encourage them, to inspire them to hold on to their dreams? I think for them, it's very crucial just to just be in the moment and to trust yourself, not underestimate yourself. And growing up with my speech impediment, I kind of didn't want to push myself to speak up in class because I was kind of nervous because I know I wouldn't have articulated my words. But uh, for someone who is in this position, everyone has rough patches throughout life. But to see the better side of it all and just believing your own abilities will allow you to achieve success and move forward. Beautiful, Kayla, beautiful. I can't even just begin to tell you how much you are giving hope to so many people that are watching this live now and that will watch it later on. Um, you are just such a wonderful inspiration and the world needs to hear your voice even more and more. Again, I'm so proud of you, Kayla, and I'm just so proud of you. Um, um, is there is there anyone, is there more that you want to share with us? My goodness, about you, about what you're doing? Well, right now I'm actually on my college journey. And the other day I submitted my last college application. So I'm really excited to have received some admissions decisions from some colleges and I can't wait for the rest later this year, early next year. Wow. Wow. Again, I, any college that, that gets you, Kayla, is, is, is blessed. They are, they are just wonderfully <laughs> blessed to have you as a part of their, their student body. And you're just going to continue to make changes in the world and inspire the world as you already are. So, again, I'm so proud Thank of you. you. Um, so, is there anyone that you want to acknowledge? that has been a part of your journey. Again, sometimes it can, you know, some people say, no, I don't want to forget anybody, but is there anyone yes. that you want to acknowledge? Yes, definitely. So first I'd like to thank my mother for pushing me and allowing me many opportunities. Yeah. And with this, it allowed me to just be able to speak up and fit right in at any event I was at. And I had a mentor growing up when I start, first started pageantry. Her name is Miss Topanga. And I wanted to thank her for just helping me choose early literacy as a platform that I would be able to speak truly about. And for Next Level Pageant and Mentoring Program and for the sisterhood, thank you for believing in me to continue my dreams and my Next Level Sister Queens for supporting me throughout my journey. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, listen, I, I thank you so much, Kayla. You, you are just an awesome. And again, tell us where people can find you on social media. Yes. My Facebook is Kayla Genevieve, K-A-Y-L-A-G-E-N-E-V-I-E-V-E. -E -E. My Instagram is Kayla Mac, K Kayla underscore Macney, K-A-Y-L-A underscore M-A-C-K. N E Y. And I also have a website. It is www.kaylasnook, K A Y O A S K N O O K.com. Everybody, Kayla, back here. Listen, Kayla, I am again. Thank you so much for being a wonderful guest. I don't see any questions just yet in the chat, but we thank you again so much for just all of who you are and being such an amazing light of inspiration. You're a star. You are just you are just rising with limitless possibilities to inspire others and our young people to give them confidence, which I love, because that's that's everything, right? You gotta have confidence and belief, yeah. you know, in you and, and, and in what you have to say that is so important. So thank you for giving a voice 
to so many Thank who felt voiceless. Thank you for allowing me to be on tonight. I was really grateful to have speak, spoken with you. It's an honor, Kayla. So thank you so much. Again, we so appreciate you. Again, continue to give voice to others, to allow them to share who they are. Not only that, but their authentic self. So thank you so yeah. much, Kayla. Listen, everybody, let's, let's, uh, um, <laughs> oh, so, so I, um, Evelyn McLeod says, please say happy birthday to Assemblyman Benson. <laughs> okay, happy birthday, Assemblyman Benson. Listen, we are so proud again of Evelyn McLeod and again, the Next Level uh, Pageant and Mentoring Program. It is a wonderful program. So please, you can follow also that on Facebook and social media, Miss Evelyn McLeod and Next Level Pageant and Mentoring Program. Kayla, do you have any final words for us? Thank you so much, Trey. It was an honor to be on tonight and speak more about my journey. Thank you for allowing me this opportunity. And thank you everyone for your support and encouragement. It really means a lot. And I'm really glad to be in the spot where I am right now along my journey. Everyone, let's please, let's give a hand clap to Miss, my God, Kayla Mackney. All right, Kayla, thank you so much. And again, we're so proud of you. Continue to be amazing and awesome. Everybody, this is Inspiration with Troy Alexander. We are here to uplift and encourage everyone within their dream and their purpose and their destiny. Our motto is dream, take that step and walk with purpose into your destiny. Continue to hold on to your dream and believe. Thank you, Kayla, so much. Have a great night. And listen, I'm so excited for what's coming next for you. Have a good night, Kayla. Thank you. Bye, everyone.